Is... is this, um, really okay? Are you sure you don't mind or anything? I mean, um, I I'm glad you're willing to, uh, but... but... Oh, right. I, I'm not very good at talking to boys. There are a lot of guys in the student council, though, so I should work on that. Oh, the school is almost out. Let's go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about... What to say? I was trying to come up with a topic you might be interested in, Senpai, but I couldn't think of anything. This is your Todai dorm, right? Do you live here? My house is in the other direction. N no, it's not your fault. I noticed we were going in the wrong direction. I should have spoken up. Um, I know you took time out of your schedule just for me, so thank you very much for today. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest. Create a persona of the justice arcana. Well, um, please excuse me. Sorry to drag you along while I go shopping. If you say so, but, um, thank you. I was so busy searching through the books. I, I'm sorry if I ignored you. Um, I'm sorry it took so long. This place has so many interesting books. I was having a bit of trouble deciding. Um, do you read much, Senpai? I love manga too. My bookshelf is full of shoujo manga. I tend to get frustrated when the main character can't ask out the guy she likes. I think it's because I can relate to her. Oh, I'm sorry. This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. The shop owners probably wouldn't want us standing here either. Um, hey, senpai? Is it boring for you to hang around with, um, someone like me? so worried about that this entire time oh um well t today i was able to um say what was on my mind to you i want to stop being so afraid of everything and i want to be able to talk to other people my homeroom teacher mr taka nozuka he gives me a lot of class related tasks but i'm always so scared that all i can do is not Well, it's not much of a story, but my dad is a very scary person. I'm not living with him anymore, but I can still remember the face he made when he got mad. So, whenever I see a man now, all I can think of is that face. Oh, no. I'm really happy that you care. Thank you. who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. 
Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. All right, fine. They're really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? That's right, I agree. This is supposed to be a place of learning, and they're still just kids. So I say this, as a member of the student council, that kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school. We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting. Nothing to fear. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but I don't want you to get criticized too. for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. <sighs> is it just me, or is the air conditioning in here too high? I feel a little lightheaded. I haven't been feeling well lately. I couldn't even finish my lunch today. I think I may have caught a cold. I'm sorry, but do you think we could go to the pharmacy? to go get some medicine. I'll be right back. Oh, hey there. Are you on your way over from school? Huh? Well, what do you want? Wow, you're really cute. From this angle, I can see how gorgeous you are in those glasses. Say, you want to maybe sit down at a cafe and chat a little? Um, I... Hey, come on, don't be scared. I'm not gonna bite. N no, please stop. Uh, senpai. Huh? Who the hell are you? Wait, don't tell me that you're with her. <laughs> well, I thought I had a chance since you look so plain. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were going to hit him for a second. I wouldn't want you to get into a fight because of me. But just now, you are so... Um... Uh, you've already saved me, so I'm not scared anymore. But why am I still shaking? Make me feel a lot better. Okay. Thank you. I think I'm fine now. Huh? Well, why do I suddenly feel short of breath? Senpai, I... I think I really did catch a cold. I feel like my face is all flush. Um, thank you again for saving me today. Now, please excuse me. Ah, <sighs> not too many people come here at this hour. This time of day is perfect. So, um, there is something I needed to ask you. Thank 
Thank you. So there's this friend I have. Um, she's a girl. And well, there's the boy who's been helping her a lot recently. Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I, I was wondering, is she in love right now? Senpai. Oh. Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least, I hope you are. I mean, I'm sure that's how my, um, friend feels. Thank you. With your help, I think I know how I should proceed now. I, I mean, I know what to tell my friend now. Sorry for asking you about such a weird topic. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. Well, should we get going? Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, I... I think I can do even better. As long as it's nothing too scary, go ahead. Your hand. It's so rugged, strong, warm. <sighs> it it's almost like we're a couple. I, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I said something so inappropriate. Uh um uh, should we get going? My break's doing nothing but reading, so I think it's about time I bought some new ones. Oh, all of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each. That means I can afford them with my allowance. Mm, we can go now. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait, is this... It is... I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever. This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Each volume is 6,000 yen. That means 18,000 yen total? Well, what should I do? Of course, all three volumes are great. The characters are portrayed so realistically. It's like they really exist. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what. I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or... I'll get them by the time I graduate. I, I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I really wish I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you! I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness or friends. That is, until recently. Of course, I still think that's mostly true. But I do have my doubts. That man has no confidence in himself. 
That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her, no matter the cost. If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again. I spend my breaks doing nothing but reading, so I think it's about time I bought some new ones. Oh, all of the books on this shelf are only 100 yen each. That means I can afford them with my allowance. I don't really see anything that interests me. Hmm? Oh, wait, is this? It is! I've been looking for this collector's edition for forever. This is a collection of illustrations from the shoujo manga I read. It even has a set of new short stories inside. I never thought I'd find this in a used bookstore. And in the novel section, too. Maybe the shop owner saw the short stories label and made a mistake. It's got all three volumes, too. This is amazing. Each volume is 6,000 yen. That means 18,000 yen total? Well, what should I do? Of course, all three volumes are great. The characters are portrayed so realistically. It's like they really exist. My monthly allowance is 5,000 yen, so it's not enough, even if I save my lunch money. But I'll get it, no matter what. I just need to wait until next month, or the month after, or I'll get them by the time I graduate. I, I need to hide this where no one will see it. Oh, please don't get bought by someone else. I really wish I had a bigger allowance, but I also don't want to make things hard for my mom. Hey, I saw that. You were looking at that waitress, weren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll do anything you want. A anything. Then how about you buy me that bag I was talking about before? Or else I'm breaking up with you! I used to think that money couldn't buy happiness, or friends. That is, until recently. Of course, I still think that's mostly true, but I do have my doubts. That man has no confidence in himself. That's why he's so desperate to stay on the woman's good side. I think I can relate to that feeling. He just wants to be with her. No matter the cost. I can't help but feel like there are so many things in this world that I'll never have. Well, should we get going? If I stay here, I know I'll just want to go back to the bookstore and look at that illustration collection again. That missing fee money from the other day still hasn't turned up yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I... I don't want to be here. I... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't say that. I'm supposed to be a member of the student council. I'm going to look for some books. Yeah, there's no way it could have been anyone else. It's gotta be her. It's that first year on the student council, Fushimi. The gloomy girl with the long hair and glasses. The one who's always reading. I hear she stole all the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. <laughs> Damn, I could buy a brand name purse with that much. Well, I heard she has no father. 
So there's no way they could have that much money since her mom only works part time. See, how could it not be her? And with such an innocent face, too. Huh? Who even are you? Is he a friend of Fushimi-san's? <laughs> Probably not. He doesn't look like the type that would hang out with her. Excuse me, this is the library. Please show some respect. Let's go outside. We can finish talking there. I couldn't find any books. Let's go. You heard all that, right? There have been rumors going around my class. The only time I feel safe now is when I'm with you. I don't really have anyone else I can count on. Oh, thank you. You're the only one who's on my side. I don't know what I'd do on my own right now. I, I'm sure I sound like I'm helpless, but, um, I'm okay, just so you know. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you. I have to solve this on my own. I have to go now, senpai. Excuse me. please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The student council president would like to speak with you. Please report to the student council room immediately. I repeat. The president wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. Oh, Mitsuru? Oh, I see. I didn't realize you two knew each other so well. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money. Isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um, Miss President, I, I. Uh... Senpai, no, I can't keep doing this. I need to stand up for myself. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the student council president. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. 
I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! I clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else... I am so sorry. You're right. It's, it's completely my fault. Well, Senpai has been... Wait, what? Well... The truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> It's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. I've been like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while. I didn't think I had it in me, but I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! What did you say? Oh, I'm so happy. Feels like something out of a manga. Um, uh, I hope we continue to get along well together. Oh, I still have to apologize to the student council president. Um, is it okay if I ask you to wait by the school gate? I'd like for us to be able to go home together. This is the illustration collection I wanted, remember? I bought all three. I blew my whole allowance, but it was definitely worth it. This book is by the same artist. If you're interested, you can borrow it. Just promise to think of me when you read it. No, no problem. I've read it so many times that I've practically got it memorized. Wait! My mom called.
called earlier. She said she has to stay late at work. And I, I've heard that there have been assaults on women in this area recently. Uh, I really don't want to be alone. Please stay. Just one more hour? I, I don't have to spell it out, do I? T 30 minutes, please. I want you to stay. Or, to be more specific, I don't want you to go back to your dorm. There are so many attractive girls there, like the student council president. I know you have to go back eventually, but... Could we be here, together, for just a little longer? I want you to stay. I just need to know that you only have eyes for me. Justice Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the justice within thyself.